coaches, today's video is going to be about the forge setup and some of the tasks that you'll be doing for the competition. So to start with, you want the robot to be set up on the base, right on top of the robot, uh, of the rocket station. You can see my robot is placed there. And the food storage task, well, first let's talk about the first task where you pick up the astronauts. You can go any way you want to on this board. You don't have to stay on the road area, but you will not want to get into the polar ice or fall into the crater or into the volcano. So you will want to dodge those areas, but you can go anywhere along the map that you like to get that task accomplished. You will have something such as a stick on this robot somewhere in one of these holes that will pick up one, two, three, or all four of the robots, doesn't matter, or astronauts, doesn't matter to me. Uh, you can get them one at a time or all of them. And they're sitting right on the edge of the Earth, the International Space Station. Your job is to pick them up, move them around the board, and leave them somewhere on the habitat spot. That is the first task. Now there is a task, and then of course you can return back home um, somewhere in that base. Now in the communication rover task, you will move that bot down this pathway, and you will end up at the communication module, and it will be adhered to the board, so the robot will physically run into it and try to make the silver piece come up to the top. So you'll want something low on the robot to be able to do that. Um, you can see on my robot, I'm going to back it up here. You can see I have some claws as if I'm going to do the pick up the food storage activity. And on the front of the claws, the motor is pretty flat, so it might, it, it probably would still work to do that with. So you can leave that all to um, this is just one model of a claw. There's a lot you can choose from. There's also the task where you'll pick up the food storage containers. So for this activity, you want to come out of the base, down here to this bridge which you'll build. And these will be adhered to the mat. So if you want to go ahead and put them on your mat, you can do that. Just tape them down really good from underneath. You want to make sure they're wide enough that your tires can go across. So those need to be adjusted for your specific tires on the day of the competition. We can do that. They'll come across the bridge and down this little road, and you'll come to the five food storage containers, which will be placed along the base of this food storage block. You'll pick them up one at a time, or two at a time if you can. And you'll take them across the map through that launch pad area into the living habitat. So that's three of the tasks. The fourth task is the rocket. Now, I don't have my rocket set up, but it's going to go on top of Mars here. It's going to be sitting right in the center of that big ball. And your job will be to use the claw or some way to move it slowly from that spot to where it says launch pad. And then when it's there, your team will count down three, two, one, blast off, and that will end the task. So I hope this was helpful in terms of setting up the map for you and going through the time.